components of water supply scheme includes huge costly structure which cannot be increased in their capacity or cannot be replaced easily. For this purpose, components of water supply scheme are made larger by estimating the future population. In this way, expansion of water supply scheme can be avoided by considering the population forecast in the design of water supply scheme. Hence, water supply scheme is not designed for the present population, it is designed for future population. Hello my dear viewers, welcome to Simplified Civil and Geotechnical Engineering channel. I am Akshay Jaiswal. In this video, I am going to explain methods of forecasting of population. In this video, I am going to explain third method of population forecast which is incremental increase method and its solved examples. This method is combination of first two methods that is arithmetical increase method and geometrical increase method. So let's start incremental increase method. Now we will see method number 3, incremental increase method. This method is a combination of the first and second method. And formula is given by Pn is equal to Po plus Nx plus Ny into N plus 1 divided by 2, where Pn is equal to population after n decades from present. Pn means the year in which we are going to find out population. Next notation is x. x is average increase of population of known decades. Next notation is y. y is average of incremental increase of the known decades and last one notation is PO that is present population means last known population which is available from census data example number three estimate the population of the town for the year 2031 and 2041 by incremental increase method. Here to find increase in population, again we need to follow the same procedure that is increase in population from 1991 to 2001. We can find out difference between these two values of population. We will take difference between these two values. It is 10,865 minus 9876 we will get value as 989 similarly we will find increase in population from 2001 to 2011 we will take difference between population values that is 11509 minus 10865 we will get 644 and last we will find increase in population from 2011 to 2021. Again, similarly, difference between these two population values, we will get 2,343. Now, we will take average of these three values. We will get total as 3,976, we will get total as 3,976. Now we will find incremental increase and to find the incremental increase, we just have to take difference between these two values, which is 644 minus 989, it will be minus 345. Now again, we will take difference between these two values and we will get 1699. Now we will take average of this column. We have to add these two values and then divide it by 2. 
we will get 1354. Now we will find value of x and y. Now we will find x. x is average increase of population of known decades. It is also called as average per decade. We will get value of x by adding all values and divide it by 3. We will get value of x as 1325.3. Now we will find value of y, whereas y is average of incremental increase of the known decades. It is also known as average per decade. After adding all values of last column, we will get 1354 and divide them by 2. We will get average per decade that is y equal to 677 and P0 is present population that is given in table. We can say last known census value population in 2021 is 13,852. The population after n decades is given by the formula Pn is equal to P0 plus n into x plus n into y into n plus 1 divided by 2. To find value of n, formula is n is equal to future population minus last known population divided by 10. n for year 2031 is equal to 2031 minus 2021 divided by 10, we will get value of n as 1. By using this formula, we can find out the population in 2031, which is P2031. P0 is 13,850. Value of n is 1 here. n into x will be 1 into 1325.33 then n y here n is 1 and y is 677 then n plus 1 n plus 1 is 1 plus 1 and divided by 2 so we will divide it by 2 and after all calculations we will get final answer that is population in 2031 is 13,855. In question, it is also given that find the future population in 2041. So again, we need to find value of n for the year 2041. n will be future population minus last known population divided by 10. We need to find population in 2041. So it will be our future population. So here we are writing 2041. Last known population is available for the year 2021. Hence we will write 2021 and divide it by 10. Then we will get value of n as 2. The formula to find the future population by using incremental increase method is Pn is equal to Po plus Nx plus Ny into n plus 1 divided by 2. So the population in 2041 is given by here P0 that is latest known population is 13,852 which is given in table. Now Nx value of n is 2 value of x is 1325.33 which we have calculated from table. So that is our nx. Then ny value of n is 2 and value of y is calculated in table. And last we have n plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 and divided by 2. Here we are dividing it by 2. And after all calculations, we will get value of population in 2041 as 18,534.
here we have covered our last method that is incremental increase method of forecasting of population hope you like the explanation thanks for watching it completely please give your reviews in comment box hope you like the information given in this video if you are watching my channel for first time then click on subscribe and share with all your friends thanks for watching jai hind vande mataram